the worst thing you've ever done to me! Okay. Ah! This is not funny! Who does this for me? <laughs> this is the best. Oh, are you ready to eat a bunch of food? Yes, I can eat now. Okay. Hi everyone, we're back at Universal. We are here for Universal Orlando Resort Halloween Horror Night. We're gonna eat our way through the park. I'm already terrified. Okay. <laughs> Donuts, the Stranger Things inspired donut, which I suspect will be a theme for the night. Not donuts, but maybe Stranger Things. I guess we'll find out. Either way, just, just really start this video by committing, you know? It's filled with that like Swissmas butter scotch pudding that I used to get all the time as a kid. I'm trying to get my mouth and I miss. This vampire donut is very adorable and looks like you could share him with a whole family, honestly. He's very large. It's like my face size. And he's got some sort of fun filling. I guess we'll find out. Yes. That looks rude. What are you talking about? He's beautiful and I love him. Great barometer for the night. Donuts in the Tooth and Chocolate Emporium, where we got a Jocko Lantern. So we'll start at the bottom, which seems to be pumpkin spice oriented. Woohoo! Okay, that tastes like we put a pumpkin pie in the blender. Watch me, I'm not even gonna shy away this time. You're shying. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. It's all over your face. It feels far too early for you to be laughing at me. <laughs> Some friend you are. Well, we're in the park now, which means things are about to get weird. Oh, he doesn't even work here. That's not funny. Now I know what they look like. Okay. That's fine. I just want to say that if I drop my food tonight, it is not going to be my fault. Oh! <gasps> he likes some more familiar. Let's drink. Do you know what that tastes like to me? It's the frozen butter beer that we had here all those months ago. It tastes like like ground up candy corn and vaguely like, maple y too. What's wrong with everyone? Obviously. Look at this little guy. Yes, there is something real good Stop it, Chelsea. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> that was like a lady goblin. She wasn't scary. Not that women can't be scary too. Hashtag feminism. I just feel like I need to be. <laughs> no. No. No, no, no. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> favorite pizza fries, which I so deserve. It's not even funny. This was like the cinnamon bread equivalent, the churro equivalent. Like this was the thing I saw all over Instagram when I was doing my preliminary research, which yes, I do before these trips. You've got pepperoni, you've got waffle cut fries, you've got tons of cheese, lots of oregano up top, and I'm pretty sure we've got some cooling marinara at the bottom. Let's get a little bit of everything now. Mm -mm -mm. This is so fun and probably my favorite thing I've eaten so far. For once, you didn't disappoint me, Instagram. Thanks for the wrap. I'm gonna finish it. We shifted over a little bit. We were enjoying our pizza fries so much that we heard they had s'more fries. We went and got those. Um, I don't know what I was envisioning, but I loved the substitution of a sweet potato fry. <laughs> Which, like, duh, was I expecting french fries? Actually, that'd be a salty and sweet little fun snack. But anyway. Sweet potato fries are still french fries. Yeah, I know, but they are sweet. You can treat them saltily. 
those stayed a little bit crispier because they didn't have marinara goo at the bottom. They have like viscous marshmallow fun. This is lots of fun. I would keep at this for a while. Bye. We moved over from the s'mores and pizza fries area to Twisted Tater over here. I don't quite know how to describe what's happening other than that it looks like a like a skeleton kebab. So I'm just gonna feel as we go. Yeah? It's like a really cheesy and funnily displayed potato chip. But there's more to eat. We haven't even made a dent in the park yet. Scared one too many times tonight. I have been driven to drink. I'm smelling tequila off this thing. It's called the Twilight Gateway. From the refreshment, this is just gonna be my pointer for the rest of the evening. In the refreshment cart in the kids' zone. This tastes like tequila and apple juice and watermelon juice. And it's a fun color like blood, I assume. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Crushed our first drink. We're moving on to our second. <laughs> now I'm happy. Can you tell? This is called the Vampire's Curse. That tastes like Hawaiian Punch. It's dangerous. Not a clue what liquor is in there, but let's go with rum. Tequila and rum. 9 p.m. It's gonna be a great night. I've definitely said that seven times. It's just the only thing I have in my head. I'm done with you. Alright, so there he is. Probably in this strange Florida nighttime, it's actually red, and my eyes are deceiving me, and I'm blacked out. I drink it now, though. Yeah. This tastes like a screwdriver, like orange with maybe a little bit of passion fruit juice in it, which would be a very unusual screwdriver. But um, vodka. My bet's on vodka. Hold on. Can I get off-camera confirmation that this is vodka? Oh, you're gonna do it? It's vodka. I knew it was vodka. You didn't have to drink so much to tell me that. You have a job to do tonight. Okay, I don't like this area. Now I hear hissing. I just feel like teens are dressed like zombies, so it's a little bit hard to say, but... Honestly, oh, no! <laughs> Quick update on my condition. I have been mauled by zombies. I'm so terrified I blinked a contact lens out of my eyeball and have landed with a vat of popcorn somehow. This is ghost trap popcorn. It's green like like that slimy guy. He slimed me. Slimer? Tastes like that smart food. 
white cheddar popcorn, but with a lot more white cheddar coating it. Is it midnight? Well, f me. I'm like shaking. Oh no! I'm very normal. <laughs> She's and much normal. nicer than I appear okay. in the videos. I thought you were done. That was a nice personal exchange. I'm not normal. Taste this and tell me what you think it tastes like. I like it. White cheddar, maybe? Yeah, white cheddar, yeah. White cheddar. Yeah. We have entered Starcourt Mall. This whole little complex here. We're about to eat our way through it. So as not to disappoint, you know. Anyway, our first stop is to get some nachos queso fundido. Again, I see like thick slices of jalapeno, thicker than you're typically accustomed to, and I assume very generous cilantro bits. But let's let's get around that a little bit and see what's going on here. That queso has been like so heavily flavored with tomato, which is not something I've had before. Time for street corn. Street corn is like a you know turkey leg for amateurs. Shots are fired. Street corn time. This looks spicy. You smell cheese and spice almost immediately. It smells like cumin and paprika. That's delicious. Cheers to me, am I right? We move farther down the food court. Intermit Hawkins Heroes. Pun. Cute. Love it. Uh, it's happening. It's happening. Also, everything is itchy. Like a, like a zombie could come at me at any moment. We ended up. Three meat. Sub hero. It must be a hero. It's not what I call it in New Jersey, but sure. I'm frankly more interested in these gorgeous horizontal potato chips, which you can smell the time off of from a mile away. Time, 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 time. Cheers to some heavy seasoning. We're moving on to the sandwich, which I refuse to call a hero. You definitely got ham, turkey, maybe roast beef. I can't quite tell. Let's find out. The bread is nice and fresh, and it gives really easily, and it's holding on to all this meat very well, which you honestly can't say that of a lot of subs. They kind of get like slidey and slippery, you know, with the cold cut to bread ratio. But sure, yeah, who doesn't love a good sandwich, you know? That's a wrap. That's not a wrap. That is a sandwich. <laughs> Before we even get to the food, it's just like the scariest thing all night because I can't shake this feeling that I'm going to like see someone I know from high school, which would really just be like, how would I explain my life to them? I don't even, I don't even know where it would start. We're getting towards the end. We ended up getting a bento box from the Imperial Panda just farther down the star court. It starts with an orange bao bun, which is positively dripping in that gorgeous sauce that you may or may not associate with your local Chinese taking place. It is so deeply and lovingly fried. Mm, I feel it in all my teeth. I want to eat the whole thing. I'm serious. In the bento box also comes a deep fried wonton chip, which you know. Looks like a tortilla chip, but is made from a wonton. So that's fun. Last but not least, dumplings. This comes with some unidentified um, dipping sauce. Mm. That tastes like garlic and plum and chili to me. Do you remember when I was eating popcorn and I was like, everything is great? Everything is so much better now. Nary a zombie in sight. <laughs> bacon, which is a natural progression, obviously, from bento box, which you can get at the dessert cart in Star Court Mall. I don't even think I got any bacon. Oh, yes, I did. You get sweet, and then you get salty. I'm going to go crush this so we can have one more dessert and one more drink to end the evening. See ya. <laughs> Meryl's Mini Pumpkin Donuts. That fell apart in my face. I get a lot more cinnamon than I do pumpkin. But that's a nice change of pace right now. Listen to me. And listen to me good. We need a nightcap. And 
and I've been told there is one drink in the park that I've not yet tried. Someone's gonna bring it to me. I'm gonna go get it. I'm not that much of a diva yet. I'll go get it. Last thing. It's called a Saturn. It's very green, or it's a different color, and I don't know what it is. Whatever. Let's go. Okay, that actually tastes like passion fruit this time. And chip. Devil's liquor. Who cares? Not me. I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna walk into a street and hope everyone scares me. That's where I'm at. That's it. I must leave. It is so far past my bedtime, it's not even funny.